Hello everybody, this is Adam from Who Guns for Wheel Men. And today, we're here with the Gerson Regard. Now I've had this for two or three years now. And this firearm has reached a 3,000 round mark. Now, for those who don't know, the Gerson Regard is a Turkish copy or clone of the Breda M9 slash Breda 92 platform. This one came with grips with window slots. And then you had this magazine so you could track your bullets and how many you had left as they left your gun. However, I replaced those grips with these knockoff lock grips from Amazon, made in China. Probably caused cancer in California. Uh, tell you know they're good. This is a Langdon Tactical NP3 coated magazine. It's extra slick like Teflon. They go in and out easier. Also, you don't get a bunch of dirt and stuff if you're doing USPSA pistol competitions. Um, Cause there's no big cut down the side. So I use these with these grips. But other than that, this is stock. Oh, and I blacked out the sights cause I don't like white dot sights. Uh, so this has been in and out of a holster probably 3000 times. Because uh, I do a lot of dry fire practice, so it probably has 3,000 rounds plus 6,000 trigger pulls plus thousands of times in and out of a holster. Um, you can see a little bit of finish wear right here and right here, and right there. It's basically from going in and out of the holster. Um, tiny bit of finish wear on some of the other parts, like right here. But really, the gun's held up remarkably well. Now, uh, I had some malfunctions, five or six, uh, mainly stove pipes. The gun just wasn't cycling all the way. Uh, and I lubed it every 250 rounds and cleaned it, you know, every 250 rounds, more or less, between the one and 2,000 round mark. But apparently any imperfections or uh, burrs causing additional friction um, worked themselves out and wore themselves down because now between the 2,000 and 3,000 round mark there have been zero malfunctions and I have not oiled it any more than normal or cleaned it any more than normal so uh, that's the only thing I can explain is uh, the only explanation I have is maybe there was you know some extra finish or some imperfections in the metal work or something and uh, just over time it smooths itself out same with the trigger the trigger between when i got it and now after about six thousand trigger pulls the trigger is a lot smoother it's still heavy a lot heavier than my landing tactical bread obviously it's probably closer to 10 pounds in double action and this is a decock only so you have double action pull um and it's relatively heavy and long but it's smooth it's a lot smoother so it's smoothed itself out. So yeah, this is the 3000 round update. Um, I've used it in well over a dozen USPSA matches and now a couple three gun matches as well. And it works very well. And I trust it enough that I keep it on my nightstand with this flashlight. Uh, I have nothing but good things to say about it. Again, I'd probably upgrade the grips and the magazines, but and black out the sights. But other than that, I have no complaints about this gun whatsoever. Um, for the price point, which was when I bought it like 450 bucks, you know, I expected it to be a lot worse. So anyways, I'll do another update video probably at 4,000 rounds. See how it's going.